Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game where they've proven to us that they can create and do anything. And a long time ago, when League Monsters first came out, we talked about the potential for there to be a spell-like card that had arrows on it. And I don't know why they didn't make something generic like this much sooner, but I do want to talk about what's going on in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh! right now and this potential judgment arrows that we could be facing in the near future. So let's talk about a spell card with Link Arrows, shall we? So if you haven't been keeping up with the TV show, you've probably missed this whole current arc going on with Judgment Arrows. Spoilers, if you guys don't want to hear about this, kind of what's going on, that's your own, you, you've been warned at this point. Well, the whole current arc has involved these bad guys that have been using, well, I don't even know if you really call them bad guys, everybody has their own little agenda and things like that, but they're playing the spell card called Judgment Arrows. And of course, much like most Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, they have the ability to pull this from their deck literally at the start of the game. Thank you, Unique Dueling Skills. But this card is crazy because, obviously, it's a spell card that has arrows. And for the free activation that this card has. So in the current anime, it is ruled like this. So you can special summon monsters from your extra deck to your zones that this card points to. And of course, you know, it is up, up, up. So it terraforms correctly, which is absolutely insane. And then it also had okay, you would think for a spell card like this that you, you wouldn't include other effects on it, right? Well, it also says if a link monster this card points to battles, its attack becomes double its current attack during damage calculation. Okay? They gave you a doubling effect on this card. What in the hell were they thinking for that? But, of course, they had to give this a downside. And it is when this card leaves the field while it points to a monster or monsters, all of those monsters are going to be destroyed. And of course, you can only activate, or you can only control one Judgment Arrow. So first up, the fact that they've restricted this card, I almost don't mind the way that they've done this. So first up, I get three zones I can do whatever I want with in my free zone. It takes away one resource from my hand. So if I'm playing a combo-based deck, and I'm playing a couple of these, a Terraform, this is a card that you're going to have to open up to kind of be a thing, because we don't have those unique dual skills that they do that they can just pull it at the beginning of the game. So there's that. Now, also the fact that this card will double another monster's attack that it points to during damage calculation, that is kind of insane to me. I, I almost think that that's a little bit too broken. Literally, a Boral Sword Dragon plus this card equals OTK. Now, if they would make the card state, you know, when it battles another monster, I'm okay with that. That's fine. Because the trade-off with this card is when this card leaves the field, that's Cosmic Cyclone, Twin Twister, you bounce it back to the hand with a card effect, everything that it points to is going. I, I think 95% of the time, everybody's going to probably place this in the middle zone to kind of terraform everything around it to kind of make way for this. But this card, I think a concept like this is viable. I think that this is, you know, with Arc V and Pendulums and, you know, Xyz and crazy things like that, you know, we've seen that they will eventually pull all of the archetypes together. And I think of generic support card like this. I don't, it would be a better boost to Rogue, I know obviously, first up, it's a spell card, you have to draw it, alright? Let's be honest, guys. It's almost easier to make the Core Link Summon and go from there, but there will be people out there that will abuse this, that will just go, oh, hell, fucking let's go. You know, you just activate it, you got three zones terraformed right away. It kind of takes away the thinking of the placements. And that's cute, I get that, that's fine, you know. And of course, this card could potentially make extra linking a little bit easier because it would be less zones that you'll have to moderately adjust, you know. We all care about the U-Link about as much as anybody else. Speaking of the U-Link, since this card is of a variety of being down in the other zone, well, you can actually do something that's absolutely crazy here. So if they make Judgment Arrows into an actual card, 
the anime this previous weekend showed that you can do something called a V-Link. All right, and what you're seeing on your screen right now is actually how the V-Link works. You have the Judgment Arrows and the Spell and Trap card zone pointing up to the monsters. And then you see the two monsters in the extra monster zones, how, you know, they're pointing down to each other. And then, of course, you have the next two, and then you have the two arrows on the sides pointing into Judgment Arrows, connecting them as well. This is something that's called the V-Link. Now, I don't know conceptually if we are going to get the V-Link, or if, if hypothetically this is going to actually exist. I think a concept of a V-Link like this is kind of crazy. Um, call it gimmicky, if you will. It's another sort of extra deck lock, and the fact that you could actually pull something off like this, this could potentially be even more dangerous than you linking your opponent. Uh, at least you linking your opponent, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to gimmick the arrows, but it was a matter of time until they kind of changed up the fundamental flow of the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I do love adding more mechanics into our thing. I guess a V-Link, V for victory, right? Am I right? Like, <laughs> I think the game, the game has gotten to the point where things are crazy now, but I love that crazy. It's why I love the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, Judgment Arrows does add a whole nother concept to that. Now, Back on the topic of Judgment Arrows as a card itself, they could very easily create a Link 1 that could say, okay, discard a card, search your deck for Judgment Arrows, all right? Now, I don't know how many of you are watching this video, like, huh, concept of Judgment Arrows kind of obsoletes the use for the extra deck. I mean, I don't have to take the zones. Also, for everybody that hates getting you locked, this is actually a kind of a countermeasure to it. Uh, I was kind of thinking about this the other day. The amount of people out there that are like, oh no, I got you locked, I can't play the game. You know, obviously, you linking is a lot harder in the current day and age. But having a spell card that you can draw in your deck that fundamentally has arrows, I think the fact that we can have a card that has arrows pointed to it means that we can release an entire new spectrum of support for Link Monsters. I don't know why we never really explored the option of giving spell cards link arrows were we just afraid that continuous spell cards would be too crazy for the archetype in in general i mean it was kind of clear that why do we actually never give monsters arrows either that, that would be interesting you know but i'm going too far down the rabbit hole here but back on the topic of spell card with arrows generic support you have to draw now I think the downside, I already brought this up, I do want to reiterate this point yet again. You have a spell card that you have to hard draw. A lot of people in the current game of Yu-Gi-Oh! do not like cards that do not create inherited advantages. Now, cards like Soul Charge that would recoup your losses and things like that, this card is not even a combo starter. Um, well, actually, I would argue that it's a starter because it gives you arrows, but it doesn't, it doesn't special summon anything, it doesn't do anything else. The only thing that you've got is you get to do extra damage to your opponent for the commitment of these arrows. Is that enough to make people want to invest in this? I'm not exactly sure, but I do think having a card like this running around in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, a card that changes the fundamental flow of the game. Now, also depends on how many of these style of cards they make. If they literally just release Judgment Arrows as a, a, a one of, for example, and if all goes well, you don't release other cards, then yes, people will play it. But I kind of think if you release two to three of these cards and people start pursuing these as maybe six to nine copies in a deck, I'm going crazy here saying that, but I mean, most decks that can already viably link, I don't know if they would be pushing for this. I just kind of think that this is... This is the final frontier for the decks that don't want to support links, for the decks that just want to produce monsters in the main monster zone, not really engage with the opponent. Quasar comes to my mind here. Actually, I think Quasar, if you open this in like Quasar Turbo, for example, you play Judgment Arrows, you've got spots to go ahead and just start setting up Synchro Monsters. Stuff like that is great. Like, as long as your board can continuously extend and do things like that, yeah, you can do the old operations of Yu-Gi-Oh! within three zones. I think fundamentally for that, 
that is why we need a card like Judgment Arrows. Plus, I mean, extra damage. It's cute. But my question to you all is, do you think a concept like this is viable? Do you think that this card will actually get printed into the actual game of Yu-Gi-Oh? Do you think that this is just anime exclusive at this point? Well, it kind of is, but give it some time. We will probably eventually see this concept come to fruition. I'm scared. I really am to see where things are going to go with this, but what do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and well, guys, I'm out. Peace. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a truffle shuffle and all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancol40 for some awesome banger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.